what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about the chances of victor salva possibly not doing anything with the next feature film in the jeepers creepers franchise and what ultimately ended up happening in, in regards to the tv series and something regarding uh ownership now with the ip the intellectual intellectual property that is jeepers creepers now again take everything in this video with a grain of salt this information again is coming from the individual who i've been in contact with uh for quite some time getting information regarding jeepers creepers since this individual personally knows victor salva because again this individual who i've talked about several times they were once uh slated to star in jeepers creepers cathedral as gina phillips son they were going to play dairy dairy jr they were going to be that son that she was going to be trying to protect from the creeper um in the cathedral movie that we never got so if you want to get actual updates and information from this source of mind, you guys need to join that Facebook group. Because again, take everything in this video with a grain of salt. A lot of you are going to still go in the comment section and say I'm lying. It's not that I'm lying. I'm getting information from someone who personally knows Victor Salva. Whether or not this actually comes to fruition, we'll, we'll, we'll actually see what happens if the next feature film is actually getting made. As we know, on Sunday, I put up a video talking about how the IMDb page has been changing this was brought on by i horror several other youtube content creators made us made a similar video 3c film shout out to him he made a video talking about it and how there's already been backlash on the on the horror community on twitter and that's very true if you go on twitter and you type in jeepers creepers 4 you already see some backlash because everybody thinks victor salva is involved in it but according to my source uh who again he is the nephew of heather langenkamp heather langenkamp played nancy and the nightmare on elm street film he texted victor salva and he he basically asked him what was going on with all these rumors and speculations that a fourth film is going into development with uh myriad pictures once again being behind the financing and kirk kirk demick kirk demico being on board to produce again because he produced the third and the second film with his production company myriad pictures so when he asked him about these when my source asked him about asked victor salva about these rumors victor salva said this he said he hasn't heard anything about it but he's not really involved in the next feature film so he cannot deny or confirm so already put the pause on right there Victor Salva himself is stating that he's not really involved in this next feature film. So two things I want to take away from that. Victor Salva is stating that he's not going to be as involved as he was with the past movie. He says he's not really involved, so he might be still getting some type of creator credits. He might still be doing something minuscule, but he will not be directing it if it comes to comes to fruition. And the script might quite possibly not be written by him either this time around. The second thing you want to take away from this is that he is the fact that he's saying he's not really involved in it, so he can't deny or confirm we don't know what's going on with this project then if he's saying he doesn't know and he's one of the owners or one of the partial owners and i'll get into why i'm saying partial one of the partial owners to this property to this ip it's very interesting that he is saying he he doesn't know but again he might be saying this to prevent things like this what i'm doing <laughs> uh, he might be saying that just to prevent news coming out like this what i'm doing because you're not going to get this news from an outlet victor salva hasn't had a news outlet interview in over a decade it seems i think the last time victor salva sat down with a news outlet was in 2016 and that's not even a news outlet when the shout factory screen factory had collector's editions coming out of the first two films and they had interviews of all the old cast members victor salva being one of them where he started sharing details that's when that's where a lot of people got their first details regarding the fact that jeepers creepers 3 would be set in between the first and second film victor salva talked about it in that new interview he did on that shout factory collection dvd if you know if you own that dvd you know what i'm talking about because you've watched that you've watched that interview where he specifically states that the third movie was going to be taking place in between the first and second movies um he hasn't done any interviews so again you can think i'm lying or making things up but again if you want hardcore evidence and proof of where i'm getting my stuff from join the facebook group that i leave down in the comment section below victor salva responded back to uh this gentleman who again was once set to star in the cathedral movie but it never got made he told him that he hasn't heard anything about a jeepers creepers 4 but he's not really involved in the next feature film so he can't really deny or confirm so 
what's going on on the IMD page and these constant changes because the two major changes were the fact that in January it said that a, that a uh, script had been completed quite, quite possibly could have been a script that Victor gave a gave a guideline for and someone else wrote and in May it says that the film got announced I didn't hear any major news outlet announcing now again that doesn't mean that it's not happening but because news outlets don't pick them on every, every major thing. And if they're trying to do this in secrecy, you're not going to get too many updates on this film. Now, once the movie starts actually filming, if it is actually moving in that in that direction of turning into something, um, we'll probably start to see more things come out. Because at that point in time, I'm pretty sure people who are noticing something that resembles the Creeper character in their hometown <laughs> and if Victor Salva's around... We'll start hearing things about Jeepers Creepers 4 apparently being in production in a in a town or a state. But who knows if they're trying to go the secrecy route? I'm just, I'm willing to bet that the the jig will be up once production starts and people start seeing this monster, a familiar looking monster walking around their town. If they manage to get a glimpse of it, all it takes is one person. Then it'll be all over social media. Then the news outlets will pick on it, pick up on it. Then outrage will ensue. Yada, yada, yada. So we know that Victor Salva is stating himself that he will not be involved he will not really be involved in the next feature film and he but he doesn't really know what's going on with it he doesn't know what's going on with it so he can't confirm or deny if that rumor of us having some developments on it is true but what i also want to talk about here is the fact that my source he told me that sci-fi Yes, Sci-Fi, the Sci-Fi Network, that channel who a lot of you probably grew up watching the first and the second film multiple times on. Sci-Fi owns partial ownership to this IP. Now, I might be might might be getting the wrong assumption here from what he told me, but join that Facebook group. You'll see you'll see the comment, the comments that we had back and forth. He basically is stating that Sci-Fi now has some type of ownership or some type of involvement with the rights when it comes to this property that's disappointing the reason that's disappointing is because if a feature film is actually being developed and it's going to the sci and it's in the hands of the sci-fi network it's going to be a made for tv special it's going to be a made for tv film it's going to be very similar to jeepers creepers 3 and if that's the case i want no parts of this movie i don't want this movie to happen i have no high hopes for it I have no high expectations for it at all. But at the same time, we know that Chucky is getting a TV series on the Sci-Fi Network. But at the same time as well, Chucky's already been a bit into the horror comedy type of aspect. And Chucky in itself hasn't been the same for a while to some people. I myself find Curse of Chucky to be the first decent film since Bride of Chucky. Cult of Chucky was just lackluster in my honest opinion. Too much into the hokiness. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do with that franchise on the Sci-Fi Network. But getting in back to what I'm talking about with Jeepers Creepers, apparently Sci-Fi was going to be the one that was supposed to be working on that TV series. The same way they're now going to be putting on that Chucky TV series, Sci-Fi was apparently going to be the network that would broadcast a Jeepers Creepers series TV, Jeepers Creepers TV series, but nothing ever came of that. Keep in mind, back in 2017, Jonathan Breck was the first person to sit down and talk about this. He talked about how Victor had turned the Cathedral script that plenty of you have read by now. He turned that script into a one season type of miniseries deal. And apparently, according to my source, Sci-Fi was going to be the network to broadcast this. It's unfortunate that that never came to fruition. I don't know why that never happened. He doesn't know why it never happened because, again, he's not he's not someone who's actively participating in all the ins and outs of this franchise. That's all going to be Victor Salva. Uh, but from his understanding, Victor has given some type of ownership to the sci-fi channel so if they have some type of some type of involvement in this i'm not going to be really that too excited for jeepers creepers 4 if it's going to just be going straight to the sci-fi network because of the fact that we saw what happened with the third film and just as soon as it was in theaters two weeks later it was on the sci-fi network and that might explain some things actually that might explain some things uh, because you can't just show i know for a fact you cannot just show movies on your network like that you have some type of licensing agreement but not only does sci-fi have a licensing agreement they now have some type of ownership of this i'm not really too excited about that let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video 
In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And join that Facebook group in the comment section below.